Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I have got a slightly different video for you today. I wanted to share with you how I've been making some sort of acetate-like embellishments from laminating pouches. Um, I start by cutting my laminating pouches in half lengthwise. I just find that easier on the size card that I do. Um, and I'm showing you here, I, I'm putting alcohol ink in them. So you open them up and I, I'm using, uh, these are Ranger alcohol inks. I'm using some stream. I think that's smolder I'm putting on. I used alcohol pearl in celestial, tranquil, and villainous on this particular folder. Um, and I'm using an air blower to, you know, spread that ink around. I did find it doesn't spread quite as easily in the folder as it would on uh, Yupo paper or something. But that's the way I've put it in. Now, I'm showing you here, there's a couple of choices for how to get um, a stamped image. On the inside, I did some of these. I stamped with this Hero Arts Unicorn White. It's a pigment ink. And I let that dry overnight. My ink pad is very juicy, so I felt it needed to dry. This particular butterfly I did with Stazon White Opaque Ink. And there is a slight difference. I don't think I can show it very well in this. The ink that I did on the inside with the pigment ink, the Hero Arts one, it tended to spread a little bit more. The lines sort of spread out. It doesn't actually show it very well on this particular butterfly, but on some of the other ones I did notice that. Whereas if you stamp later on the outside with an opaque ink, it didn't spread at all, of course. Um, so I thought I would just share that with you in case you have either of those or are interested in doing either. either. Uh, I'm just showing you here, I didn't use alcohol ink right up to the edge of the folder because it tends to spread out if it's wet at all. <laughs> and I know that because, well, I would hate to look inside my laminator because I've had all, I've been playing with this, putting all kinds of things through there and some things have spread and some haven't. <laughs> but here you have it afterwards. Um, both sides you could use and usually I find one side, it looks a little bit better than the other. It's all sealed up. It doesn't come apart or anything like that. Now, this is a piece of acetate that I put some alcohol ink on. And I have made these butterflies before with acetate. But the problem is on the side where the alcohol ink is, it can scratch off. So just in case, um, you know, when you're putting it together, if you scratched it, you would lose some of that ink. Or, you know, if it got scratched up, you know, in, in the mail. Uh, I just find the, the laminating pouch is a little bit better for that because nothing comes out. So I'm just showing you here, I just fussy cut these butterflies out. These butterflies are from a British uh, stamp maker, Chocolate Baroque. It was a tangled garden, I believe. Uh, but whatever you had, I would say use it. And those little pieces, I saved those and I'll show you why in a little bit. Um, so now to get those wings to fold, I just put the body of this butterfly along one of the crease lines on my uh, scoreboard and just ran my bone folder along that just to make a crease and again on the other side. And then I made sure that I creased both of those wings because I really wanted them to stand up a bit. Now. I have to say that every time I've done this, it's like the laminating pouch sort of comes apart a little bit there. Um, I'm going to show you that in a bit, and I do have a fix for that. Well, I think it's a fix. <laughs> so here you can see, well, not that well, but right along the body, it's actually spread apart just slightly. It's a bit easier to see on the back here. There's that little crease along the side. That's where it's come apart. So what I do is I put it back in the parchment carrier and I run it back through the laminator. So just keep your laminator warm while you're doing all this part and then run it back through and it seems to, you know, mend it. <laughs> it seals it together again. Here you can see it after it's been laminated and you don't see that 
um, little groove, that little separation anymore, and the wings will still fold down. So hopefully if, if you do a butterfly and you, you have to crease it, that will help. So I just, uh, to decorate this, I just am using some micro glitter that I got at the dollar store. Uh, I used glossy accents with that, and apparently I must have felt like I should zoom right in on this for you. I don't know why I did that, but here you go, up nice and close. I just run a little bead of glossy accents along uh, his antenna or the body, wherever you are. And then I just uh, drop little bits of uh, the glitter onto this, and I just set it aside to dry. I think it maybe well, glossy accents, it's fast, maybe an hour or so before it was completely dry. I didn't use an anti-static powder or anything like that on this. I just find I have to really tap off that glitter quite well after I've uh, applied it, kind of like you would on, on vellum, just to really firm tap to get get it off and then once it's dry you can take the excess off so there it is all finished and decorated up with a few other colors they're so pretty you guys that see-through wing it's just really quite nice um, but I wanted to show you that you don't just have to make the butterflies so I have been playing around quite a bit <laughs> with these as you can see um, here this butterfly I used VersaFine ink and I embossed it with some gold embossing powder and then just added in the, the glitter to the body afterwards. Um, so there is another option for you there. And this clear one, I used VersaFine black ink on the inside of the laminating pouch. Let that dry and then I sprinkled some Tim Holtz uh, crystal you know glitter into the inside and then ran it through the laminator and I felt like that was a better butterfly to use on a more colorful background um, here I'm showing you I just to attach these I used some collage medium and just attached the bodies of the butterflies so that the wings could stay up uh, both these last two I had stenciled the backgrounds and embossed them um, that one I've added some pearls to it uh, they just make a really fun, pretty accent. So here, it's this one. I've used this uh, Simon Says Stamp Cosmos flower dye and ran it through uh, the, la the die cutting machine. I've also got here a uh, die from Paper Rose. Uh, it's called their Poppy Fields. And it was from the same laminating pouch that the Cosmos flower had come from. Now those dragonflies are from Simon Says Stamp and those are Pink Fresh. Uh, I think that was Dainty Blossoms from Pink Fresh, those ones there. And I just put them against that embossing, embossed background. So those little scraps, I saved those for these. I've got these Lawn Fawn little butterflies and they're kind of fun to cut from those extras. This little fish was from uh, Penny Black. Now, really, all those pieces come out, but I love the look of it all together, and I just I haven't figured out quite what I'm going to do with it yet. But those are some ideas for you, so I hope that helps. I hope that you guys will give it a try, because honestly, these are just so pretty, and I really feel like there's a lot of possibilities and lots of different things that people can do. So if you do try this out, share it, because I'd love to see what everybody does. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope that this has inspired you even a little tiny bit. Thanks for joining me.